Yeah. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Call me Gamble Proctor. Prescribe you a beat so fucking ill. Hook down it like a Downey Jr. Dr. Drew, new to you. Dr. Drew, new to me too. What do you do? Come hard as fuck. The only way I'ma get through. What's going on everybody? I'm back to do tutorial number seven. This is going to be how to get your kick drums and bass to stand out. Um, a lot of people have problems with this. They're going to instantly think I can't hear it and they're going to turn the volume up on the bass or the kick drum and then take it out to the car and wonder why it sounds like shit. So here's a really quick straight to the point way to do a couple easy things. One being EQ making room in the low end, um, and also uh, using the side chain compression technique I showed you in tutorial number one. That works on more than just dance songs, so it's worth paying attention to. Um, here's a beat that I got going. Notice how it's kind of tough to hear the kick drum and the bass. The strings kind of overpower it. So first I'm going to make room, I'm going to EQ it, um, let's look at the bass, and they're both going to be hitting in the low range here, so I'm going to cut some of that out of the strings, just do a low or a high pass. And I'll cut some of the low, low mids out. Just low mids, I guess. And it looks like the bass kind of peaks right around 500 hertz. So I'm gonna cut a little right there and help the kick stand out a little bit more. And the second part is the sidechain compression. I'm gonna do it with the kick drum. I've got a kick and bass going here at the same time, but I'm gonna sidechain from the kick to the strings by right-clicking on the string uh, track and choosing sidechain to this track. And then uh, I'm gonna go into the limiter and under the compression tab, right-click in the sidechain dial and choose kick drum. That's what I'm sending to this limiter. Um, on the strings mixer track. Now I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna start tweaking this um, until you know it sounds good and it's pulling the volume down on the strings whenever the kick hits and then letting go of it when the kick is not hitting. So that's pretty extreme, but it sounds all right. You know, you can hear it pulling the volume on the strings down and the kick and the bass stand out better. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, subscribe to this channel, man. I'm gonna be uploading a whole bunch more tutorials. I'm just getting started on this. Um, I'm working on my buddy who wins mixtape. That's going to be coming out pretty soon. You can already check out the first track that we did. Don't give a fuck. It's on my channel. Um, but otherwise, yeah, man, like the video, comment on it. Ask me anything you want. Uh, maybe I'll answer someone's question directly in a video or do a tutorial or something. But whatever. Later, guys. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Call me Gamble Proctor. Prescribe you a beat so fucking ill. Hook down it like a Downey Jr.